Greetings from the Eccentric Man. Today we are uh, playing a practice game for uh, Panzer Camp for 1500 points uh, game, which is going to take place in September in Cambridge. It's being run by uh, the uh, Camsbridge Too Far people, so it should be a good day. Uh, got to practice here, so we're playing key positions from the scenario from the pack. You can have a look at the pack, it's uh, downloadable from uh, Panzer Camp on the website, and uh, it gives you a link to the tournament pack. Uh, what we're playing today is key positions. So there's five objectives. Uh, they'll be put down randomly by each player. Uh, alternatively, uh, and the aim is to have more than the opponent at the end of the game. What you have to do is you have to capture the objective by moving a unit into base contact with it, and you've got to hold it, which means you've got to be in base contact with it at the end of the game with nobody else touching it to contest it. So that's basically the... Uh, the, the uh, scenario that we'll be playing. Uh, as you can see I've put the new houses out to give them a run. These are the Empress... Uh, is it Empress? No. Empress of War. I believe so, yes. Empires at War? Empires at War. Well done John. Uh, that's John. He's uh, playing today. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, Empires at War. You can find them on eBay I think. They, uh, they, they come out quite well actually for uh, the money. So uh, that's what we're doing. So uh, terrain wise we've got a few few uh, woods. We need to get more woods I think. So, But they are as they are. You can't see through them but you can see out once you're in them. So um, that's how it normally runs. Hedges, normal line of sight. Cornfields are the uh, orangey ones. They will give uh, cover and uh, difficult ground. And the brown ones are just sort of like ploughed fields. Uh, they will just give uh, difficult ground when crossing. And the buildings are uh, as as buildings, I think. Okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Seems reasonable? Yeah. So, uh, so we're going to set up now uh, and see what we do for turn one. So back to you soon. Today's army, we're playing uh, 1500 points and it's a practice game for the Camsbridge Too Far 1500 point tank wars. Can't remember what Dunningham it is. I have to think about it. Is it Panzer Camp? Uh, so that's uh, taking place in September, so I'm playing John today, uh, and he's got a, an army that he's putting up, so I'm going to give it a bit of practice. I can't get to it, because uh, we've got a, a charity show that I'm doing on the on the day before. Uh, so this is my 1500 points army. Eight dice, as you can see there. So we've got a Tiger one, uh, which is veteran. We've got a Panzer 3G, so medium anti-tank gun. And then we've got a Panzer 3J, which has got the longer gun, but it's uh, still a... Uh, a medium anti tank. Uh, we've then got a 250 with a Panzerbusch, a Pioneer vehicle, and then I've got a unit of Pioneer behind, so that's eight men uh, with submachine guns. We've then got uh, a Marder 1, we've got the Lorraine Shelper there actually, which is uh, proxying in today for the Marder 1, so that's got a heavy anti tank gun, open topped, and then we've got the uh, 231 8 Rad which has got the auto cannon, light auto cannon, and a Panzer II, which has got the uh, light auto cannon too. Command vehicles is the Panzer II and the Panzer III G. Uh, so that's the Germans. It's uh, based around 1942 Africa Corps. So let's have a look at what John's got. Uh, in my army I've got uh, three Shermans, 75mm um, guns, and they're from the 743rd Tank Battalion which was attached to the 30th Infantry, which are next to them. Um, I have one M3 with a bazooka team, a medic, and an eight-man rifle squad with one BAR. Supporting them is the 30th Cavalry, um, which is three M8s with a light anti-tank gun, and a Jeep carrying a small recce bazooka team. Cool. Two bazookas. <laughs> that should be interesting. And the M M8s have got light guns. Yes, light they are tank, light aren't they? Tank Rather guns. than auto cannons. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. As you can see, John's gone quite um, nicely themed for his, and he's just in the process of painting them up. So he's got his uh, undercoat on the uh, the tanks, uh, and one of them has been uh, painted up a bit more with the uh, decals. So yeah, should be an interesting game. Uh, John's got twelve dice, and I've got eight. So uh, be interesting. So we've put the uh, objectives out, so five objectives, there's one behind the house there, one goes into the centre, obviously the one that was going to be contesting to give us three or two each, 
Uh, one on the uh, edge there, behind the house, to the side of the house there. One in the, uh, the cornfield. And another one in the playyard field by the wall. So those are the five objectives. Uh, it's uh, the scenario, we've had a look at the rules pack and it seems a little bit odd because it tells us that uh, we'd both be coming on from the attacker's table edge, which does seem a little bit wrong. So we're going to do it one from one side and one from the other. Uh, and you can put half of your units rounding down in reserve. John's gone for none down in reserve. I've gone for two units in reserve on outflank. And that's me uh, 250 and my Pioneer unit. So we'll see how they fare playing on the, uh, on the outflank. So that's it leading up to turn one and we're going to run into turn one and we'll see if anything exciting happens. So first dice up and John's brought his Jeep onto the table. Uh, next dice out uh, is for me, for my Germans, and I've brought on the Panzer II. So we're going to give a little shot at the Jeep, which is going to be quite uh, quite difficult to hit it. Moved for uh, long range 5, soft cover 6. So we need a 6 to come out of 2 dice. Oh, and we got 1 6. Always a good result. So, um... Plus two, and you're a six, aren't you? So that's a six. So that's a penetration of. What's that? So that's eight, and you're six. So that's two. Uh, so that's just one dice, isn't it? Just one dice. And that's a three, uh, it's on fire. So that's, uh, I have to have a look at that because that's one pin plus an additional, can't remember. Let's have a quick look, I haven't played for three weeks. Right, let's have a quick look because I say I haven't played for over three weeks because I was having an operation on my knee and played no bolt action. So on fire, uh, which means it gets one pin and an additional pin. So it's a leadership test, they're veteran, uh, regular. Regular, so it would nine. be a 9 down to 7 uh, leadership test. Run it away. Five. Yep, 5, so the fire's out, uh, but 2 pins on the vehicle and 2 pins on the crew. So not too bad as a start. He's going to reciprocate, so he's brought on his M8, to uh, his little Greyhound, to give a crack at the Panzer II. So um, we've had a look and we're going to get soft cover from the hedge only. So. What's the range? It's going to be just over 24 inches, isn't it? So you're going to be long range. Oh, yeah. So John's uh, with the M8, it's got the yeah. light anti tank gun, which has got a range of 48 inches. So. Three moved. Long so moved range. four, long range fives. Five. So I've got sixes. Six. One dice. One dice. And a six. <laughs> it's going to be a game of sixes. Uh, so penetration four. Yep. Uh, I think I'm eight. Am I eight on the front? Pens are two. It must be an eight on the front. Well, I'll take it for an eight on the front. We'll have a look. Uh, so that's a seven. So if I'm a seven, it's a glance. We're going to have to have a look now at my army list because uh, I can't quite remember. Oh, God, isn't it horrendous? You take that time off and you just lose it. Yeah, I bet you're all sitting there shouting, eight, eight. Yeah, it's eight on the front of the Panzer II, so uh, it hasn't penetrated. So that was uh, a bit, a little bit lucky for me, so uh, fortunate there. So the pesky Americans have passed their leadership test to hop out of the Jeep uh, and are behind the wall now, and they're going to take a shot at the Panzer II, which is uh, conveniently behind the, the building there. Uh, we've looked at it. Obviously, it's in range because I took a shot at the Jeep. So it's long range for the bazooka, uh, he's moved, he's got one pin and it's got hard cover, so sixes followed by sixes. Nope. So worth a try. So John's been a little bit unlucky with his uh, dice pulling, he's pulled five American dice in a row. So we've now got his half track on, uh, infantry unit, the medic and the bazooka team out on the table. Uh, what I've uh, done is... Uh, Another one of my dice came out. I'll just get you seasick as we go along the way. Uh, so I've put them down, order on the uh, Pioneer unit and the 250. So I've now brought on my Marder 1 to take a shot at the Greyhound that's hiding there. 
Um, so, going to have to work that out. 72 inches for a heavy anti-tank. I reckon I'm in half range. You are. So that's going to be 4 for moved uh, and 5 for soft cover. So, let's see. So, five needed. Five got. And a five got. That's going to be very sad for the um, M8 there. Let's get the dice. Uh, so, that's a seven, isn't it? Is I don't know so. So, yes. heavy tank, heavy anti tank, a seven. seven. And you're a seven. And that's a three, so that's uh, ten plays seven, so that's uh, an excess of three. So you get two dice. So two dice, let's get another dice out of the pot. Uh, right, and eyes down. <laughs> uh, so that's a dead one. Let's get a bit of a smoke for that one. Yeah, old recce rules, he would have been away from that, but sadly not this time. So uh, first vehicle down from the Americans, so that's uh, a start. So what's come out is John's Sherman. Medium anti-tank or heavy? Uh, medium. Medium anti-tank gun. And he's gonna have a go at the Marder one. What we've looked at, the hill uh, would give it cover if the vehicle was in the wheat field, but because it's got a doormat, it's high up. So what we've decided is that it's uh, got plus one for cover. Uh, in the cornfield there. So John's firing on it and it's uh, moved. Is a four? No. Veteran. Oh, he's veteran. So oh, there's a veteran one, isn't it? Yeah, stabilised. So is it um, over half range? So 30 inches to give you half range. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Just over 30? Just over 30. So uh, a four, long range, five, four, cover. Four, that was very close. So, uh, nearly got it. So, John's got another Sherman brought on, and he's going to go for uh, rinse and repeat on the Marder one. Uh, I just remembered as we, uh, we were going through that what got John could have done was to use his medium machine guns from his whole, uh, whole gun on the Marder, because it's the open topped, so he could have put a, a pin on it at least. Um, so, uh, with reminding him on that, is he will be doing that on this one, I would hazard a guess. So... Um, Five needed to get a, a direct hit for the uh, for the gun. Oh, yep, got a got a direct hit with that one. Uh, so uh, I think I'm not sure whether that's flank or front. I have to have a look at template for that one. Back in the tick. So yeah, had a quick check. So it's going to be front, uh, but Mar the Marder one. Um, is not very. So I've checked the uh, the front. Arc. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, uh, there are the hooligans that we have to contend with. Hey! Right. So uh, front arc. Uh, John's hit it. Uh, it's a medium anti tank, so that's five. Yep. So uh, roll the dice and see what we've got. Seven, glancing. Alright. Yep, roll one dice. Roll one dice. Two. Two, so it goes down to one. Yep. Uh, crew shaken, uh, so that's an additional pin, so two pins. So, um, I don't think you'll be shooting very much next turn. Um, I'll find the machine guns while I forget. No need. Oh, yeah, because we've yeah, already done the pin, so. Um, yeah, good point. Yeah, two pins on the mark. So we've brought on the uh, Rad 8 and we're going to take a shot at the bazooka team behind the wall. Uh, it's probably not going to be a good one, good choice, but we'll give it a go. Uh, moved for, that's going to be within 24 inches. Mm -hmm. uh, so moved for hardcover, five, six, small team, sixes followed by sixes. Yes. <laughs> sixes followed by sixes. Um, we'll be firing HE. Nope. 
Right, I've brought on the uh, Panzer 3G and that's uh, moved on to the objective on this side and is going to take a shot at the bazooka team that is in the uh, behind the wall there. Uh, medium active tank gun 60, so 30 inches for half range. I think that's going to be half range, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, half range, so uh, moved for hardcover six, small team sevens again. Yep. Seven for the, uh, the medium anti tank gun using HE. <laughs> That's a, a well no. Uh, and then the machine guns. So, medium machine guns, that is going to be long range. So, that's sixes followed by sixes again, isn't it? Yeah, So, let's see what we've got. Oh, two sixes. <clears throat> so, possibly uh, another go. Nah, not this time. So I've advanced on the Panzer 3J and that's going to take a shot over the little uh, rise at the Sherman. So moved four, it's got to be long range isn't it I would have thought, over 30, yeah it's got to be over 30. Just double check. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, long range five, soft cover six. Nope, so that's four. So John's last Sherman is out of the bag and uh, he's come on to take a shot at the Panzer III. Uh, so that's going to be moved four, long range five, soft cover, sixes, but no moved, no so moved. fives. Five. Three. Three, oh yeah, got to remember that veteran bit. That does uh, help it. So last dice and that's the Germans and uh, the last one of mine's to come out is Mr. Tiger. So let's see where we're going to put him. So we've advanced on with the Tiger. Uh, and the Tiger is going to take a shot at your Greyhound. So uh, the, uh, the super heavy anti-tank gun has got a range of 84. So I think it's in half range. So it's moved, soft cover, fives. Uh, that's a hit. Sure is. Oops. <laughs> uh, so, um, eight penetration for super heavy. Well, he's so yes, and I'm seven, so yeah. Pick whatever you roll. Two. One plus eight is Two ten. Dice. Two dice. Oh yeah, so another blown up one. <laughs> so, end of turn one. Uh, and as we can see, the heavy anti-tank guns and the super heavy anti-tank gun have, has been um, quite good here. Um, the Marder one took out the uh, first Greyhound. And in the last turn, the Tiger has come on and uh, popped the other Greyhound. Uh, so we're looking okay there. So, objective-wise, uh, Germans have got the objective on this side. Uh, that one's uncontested in the middle at the moment. Uh, this one here, um, by the uh, the Germans, I would say in the middle there, on that side, the um, some Americans are uh, holding that one in some force. And over in the far side, the infantry are moving up to take that fire objective on that bit. So that's the end of turn one. Uh, interesting start for the, for the uh, Germans. Uh, a bit harsh for the American Greyhounds. They've taken a bit of a culling on that side. So we'll move into turn two and see how we go on. Turn two, first dice out is the German, so uh, I think we'll try and balance this flank up a little bit uh, and we'll take a shot at the Sherman that's here. So I think that was over, that was long range again last time wasn't it? Yeah. So long range cover is going to be a five. Yep. So a five with the medium anti-tank gun of the Panzer 3J. Nope, that's a miss. So, second dice out has been for the Americans. Uh, so the Sherman on that side has moved up, and of course, being a veteran, uh, he's not going to get a penalty for moving. So he's now moved within half a range. So, um, probably still cover. Yeah. So, fours. Fours. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a shame. 
that didn't make it much more in your favour there. But uh, rolls are one, never mind. Next dice out is Americans again, so we're going to have the Sherman on this flank coming up to uh, to give a little bit of a support on that one. So again, we're looking at a four, aren't we? Yep. Ah. No, another one. Uh, it's still putting a lot of pressure on this flank where I've just got the Panzer three and the the Marder one with the two pins. Uh, still a risk on that side for me. So the uh, the Marder one is going to take a shot at the Sherman. Uh, I've had to move to get it into the front arc, so that's given me an extra minus one. I'm in uh, the the cover gives me another minus one, and I've got one pin, so it's going to be a six to uh, to hit. Ollie, move it on. So six uh, six needed. Oh, let's roll it in this one. That's a little bit easier for me. Nope. So it's four. So uh, no hit with Slice that. Slice out, and we're going to run the uh, fire with the rad eight. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is neutralise. The first bazooka team there behind the wall, uh, which may give me a little bit more freedom to operate uh, in the centre. So we're going to take a shot at the bazooka team. Uh, so uh, let's get me dice for the uh, like auto cannon. So two dice. Um, what range are we at there, John? Have a quick check. About 18, 19. 18, 19. So light auto can is 48 inch range, isn't it? So yes. half range. Half range. Uh, so not moved. So it's a, a three, hard cover, five, five small team six. Yep. yep, so we're down to sixes. So sixes with a HE. Oh, and there's one. Um, so it's minus one. Are they regular or vets? They're regular. Their eggs, so uh, so it's um, threes. Yep. You got one hit. One hit, so it's a little template. Oh, you do it? Oh, it's the little uh, one inch template. Yeah, HG yeah. On sorry. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. So two dice. So one dead. One dead. And it's two pins. So three pin, three pins. Three together, yeah, three pins and a leadership tech at five. No six. So yeah. he's gone. Ah, so that was useful that turn. Lucky to get the six, uh, and then take him out, and then fail on the leadership test. So that's uh, the Duke gone. Well, no, the uh, the bazooka's even gone. That's quite useful. That's out for the Americans. Uh, I realise that. Well, John's realised that I've left the space now that he can actually see through to take a shot at the Panzer II. So he's uh, moved up slightly to get a shot out. Um, short range. Short range. Moved four. Uh, cover cover five. five. Soft cover five. Yeah. Nope. Another one. Oh, John has not been lucky today with his with his shots. So John's uh, out with the dice next, so he's moved his bazooka team up behind the wall and they're going to take a shot at the armoured car. Uh, so moved for long range fives. Yeah, five. Yeah, it's got a five. Ouch. Six for shape charge, isn't it? And there's no minus for long range yep. against armour. So you're on a base six and I'm seven on the front. Uh, that's an 11 against seven, so that's uh, two dice. And that's a four, so that's a boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pesky bazooka team now. Uh, taking out the armoured car uh, is a bit of a pain. And uh, I've got the Panzer three over here. The uh, The difficulty I'm looking at is heavy, uh, medium, medium anti-tank gun, it's in within half range, firing at a small team over the wall is going to be a six to hit with the main gun. Machine gun is going to be sixes followed by sixes, but I get 12 shots. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Um, and I don't even think it, it helps the odds if I take one with the big gun and then six with the machine guns, uh, with just the whole machine gun. I think it's either got to be one or the other. So uh, we'll go for the 12 machine gun shots and see what we get. Okay then, 12 dice. Let's see if we get any sixes. Two. 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 Two.
Two. Two. So I need another, whoop, need another six out of these. No. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a Just try. Just thought, would I have a hit with the big gun? So I rolled a dice and got a six. There you go, sod's law. So I decided to uh, move, the, move the tiger. Uh, it's going to give the bazooka team a possible shot, but I think it's going to be probably hard cover if he's going to take a shot at it. It's a risk. Uh, I'll try it this time. But it does allow my Tiger tank to get into a position to take a shot at that fast Sherman uh, over there. So we'll give that one a go. Uh, that's going to be at half range. Moved four. Soft cover five. So let's see if we can get a five. <sighs> Things are not, not good for John today. So that's a five. Uh, I think it's probably going to be front on the angle of the uh, the arc. Yep, so we had a look, uh, and it's going to be front arc on the Sherman. So it's a 9 on the front. Uh, I've got armour penetration of 8. So that takes me up to 10. Uh, so we've got a penetration, so let's see what we've got. 5. Dead. <sighs> Ah oh dear, uh, I've been very lucky with my dice rolls. I uh, thought something was not quite right, so um, had a quick look at the rules, and the super heavy anti-tank is only seven, it's not eight. So I'm not sure, quite sure why we were thinking eight, uh, but it was only, uh, it's only a seven. So what that meant was that the uh, hit on the Sherman, uh, I rolled a two and I plussed it onto the eight, so it took me to ten to give a pen train, but it wouldn't. So we put it as a glance, as it was, should have been, uh, and the 5 would have taken it to uh, minus 3. Um, and that wouldn't have been on 5, would it? Ah, so that does mean it's immobilised. No. Uh, and you need to take a roll on a 4 plus to see if Tarot jammed. No, nope, so you're okay. Uh, yeah, so it's just immobilised. So, uh, yeah. That's it, 5 minus 3, takes it down to 2, get the maths right. <laughs> so no, it's, it survives immobile. So this Sherman that's moved up is going to take a shot at the Panzer III, uh, so it's uh, close range? Yep. Fours. Four. Roll another one. Another one, ah! So, end of turn 2, uh, the infantry of the Americans have moved round and captured the objective on that side. We'll say that the bazooka team at the moment have captured the one in the middle there. And the Sherman at the moment uh, more or less captured that one there. I mean although they should be in base contact I think for some of these from according to the rules for the uh, scenario. So we've got the uh, objective captured there and the objective captured there. So at the moment uh, we're probably saying 3-2 to John at the moment. Um, two of the Greyhounds dead, and one Sherman immobilised with two pins. And for the uh, Germans, uh, the eight rad destroyed by the bazooka team, and uh, one pin on the Marder for the uh, works over here. Right, let's move into turn three. And outflanking troops could come on in this turn. First uh, dice out for turn three, and it's uh, the Americans. Uh, John's moved his... Sherman up to get a bit of cover of the uh, the house, but he's going to take a shot at the Marder. Uh, so it's going to be close range, and uh, I would probably hazard a guess no cover. I would think because if you think of the the hedges are down, he'll be on the ground, but the top cover comes up quite high, doesn't it? So threes. Yep, hits with a four. Um, medium anti tank. So medium anti tank is a five. Yes. So five against seven. So it's seven, so it's a glancing. One, so screw stunned and two pins. So next dice out has been the Germans, so I'm gonna uh, I've advanced the the tiger up. So he's gonna take the shot at this Sherman in the middle there. Uh, so it's gonna be half range. And I think 
Yep. I'm not sure if you're going to get a cover on that. Let's have a look. I'm going to have to uh, get down there and have a look. look. I think probably not no, because no. the uh, the hedge is too small. Yeah. So, um, threes moved four. Yep, there's a four. So we now know that at this time around it is a seven. I hope there's any question then. Thirteen. No. Uh, a four and a two, so a four. Yeah, that's a destroyed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So uh, this Panzer three J is going to take a shot at the Sherman that came up. Uh, looking across, I think we got the hill there, which was going to give cover on the front. So we're going to be at short range. So it's going to be a four with the cover. Nope, not this time. Uh, my luck has been very good. About time I had something that uh, didn't run quite well. Right, um, decision, split decision time here. There's a bazooka team, which I could take a shot at and possibly kill. Or I could take a shot at the greyhound and possibly kill. Mm, I had thought about the greyhound, but now I've changed my mind and I'm thinking about the bazooka team. Uh, we'll go with the bazooka team. I think we're within half range. So it's a three... Small team four, hardcover six. Staying up? Yep. So needing sixes. HE with the um, auto cannon. Five and a three. Oh, that was lucky. Quite lucky to have the next dice come out, which means I get, still get a chance to get the bazooka team. So the uh, we're going back to the 12 dice. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 12. So 12 dice. I can't even pick them up. 12 dice hoping for a six. One. One. 12 dice, one six. Uh, so having missed with the Panzer three and the Panzer two, the Bazooka team now get an opportunity to uh, wipe out the Panzer two. So uh, we're at long range, that's minus one. That'll be fours then. <laughs> there you go, that's it, that's six. So um, shape charge is a, a six. And I'm eight on the front. Ten. So penetrated by two, one dice. One. So crew shaken and stirred. Uh, so two pins. And a possible turret jam. So let's have a look at the turret jam. So four plus turret jam. Nope, we're okay. But two pins. And uh, next dice out was for the uh, for myself and the Germans. Uh, I'm going to rally the Marder this time around. Um, one Sherman's got two pins. One Sherman's dead, and the other Sherman could take a pop. Next turn, good mm. So I think uh, this turn around rally. So it's uh, leadership nine as a regular. Uh, so we just need nine to rally. Double one. Oh, that's a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> um, so that's exceptional courage. So that's all the pins gone. Yep. Oh, well, that's a that's a bonus. So uh, rallied, and uh, on to the next dice out. So last, last three dice out is uh, John's. Uh, he's already put the uh, unit over here on ambush, and he's moved up the M3. Uh, half track to cover the flank. Uh, medics on down. So the uh, Greyhound is going to take a shot. Probably. 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 <laughs> a the big table. bomb across the table. Uh, so he's going to take a shot at the Panzer II. Uh, so within half? Uh, 24? Yes, within 24. Yeah, so uh, just going to be soft cover. So fours. Yep, right. that's a hit. So it's a four plus. One, five, nope, nothing, but a pin. So John's, ran, uh, not rallied, uh, leadership test on the Sherman, so he's got rid of one pin. Uh, it is a veteran tank, so he needed uh, eight, so he's uh, got rid of one pin. So he's going to take a shot at the Marder. Uh, so it's going to be 
Um, four. One for soft cover. Well, no, we didn't give it soft cover because of the high, height of the... Um... But we did there, we didn't hear. We didn't ah, right, as we did there. Uh, so, fours. Nope. Do you want a machine gun it? Yep. So, five dice. Probably needing... You got at least a six there, haven't you? Yeah, you got one six. So one six. So that's a one pin. So one pin. Um, now it couldn't do anything to it, but it puts a pin on it. So this is where that thing comes in. So it's regular. So a four, five, or six it ignores a pin. Whereas if it's like a veteran like yours, you would ignore it anyway. I think it's the case. So six, so that ignores it. So end of turn three. Yep. So end of turn three. Uh, Americans are a little bit under the cosh, with one Sherman out, one immobilised, uh, two Greyhounds out, one Bazooka team gone. But the Bazooka team over here did cause uh, the Greyhound over here at the previous turn, and this Panzer two has now got three pins on it. So moving to turn four.